This is Susan Sun on the Maker with Sun is the Feature.net. Here we have Mr. Tor Blackstead representing the TUV Rhineland. And this is uh, one of the uh, one of the oldest uh, company that's been around, especially uh, in this particular convention. And we'd like to hear what Mr. Blackstead, with a wonderful name for this particular industry, Tor. And okay, Tor, tell us uh, about Rhineland or TUV Rhineland. And Wonderful. perhaps uh, pronunciation needs to be corrected, or please do so. Nope, Tor Blackstead uh, with TUV Rhineland. Uh, we've been around for 140 years. We do certification testing, regulatory compliance, uh, field services, uh, really solar bankability, premium services. Uh, anything and everything under the sun is something that TUV Rhineland can do. Uh, as a global company, we have over 15,000 employees, uh, more than 600 offices, and we really test and certify everything. It can be locomotives, it can be nuclear power plants, mm -hmm. it can be the red mm -hmm. dye and a Tickle Me Elmo. But uh, my office focuses specifically on solar and fuel cell products. We're based in Tempe, Arizona, and we cover the entire North American market. And uh, we test everything that has to do with solar or anything solar related. Oh, my goodness, my goodness. So every single uh, country that has an industry will probably has TUV Rhineland office. Correct, correct. TUV Rhineland is a very global organization. Can you tell um, us a little bit about the history, uh, how it was originally founded? Yes, uh, TUV Rhineland started out in the Rhineland of Germany or around Cologne, and that's where our global headquarters still is today. And it started off when industry was really becoming large 140 years ago, when one out of every two or one out of every three boilers in buildings would blow up, and there was something that was required to really uh, check for safety, make sure that they weren't going to blow up, weren't going to burn down buildings. And it started with the boilers, moved into automotive, locomotive now today in every industry that there is for mm. healthcare, for products, mm -hmm. for uh, even IP or uh, software services. Oh. So it's definitely a very uh, relevant part of every one of our lives for us. And uh, what would you say, do you think most people would have any future direct contact with TUV Rhineland or um, is Rhineland only dealing through manufacturers directly? So mainly uh, the TUV Rhineland business model is to work with the manufacturers, certify their products, certify their services, and that is our core business. When you're talking about solar specifically, it's quite different where we have half of our business dealing with the certification of products mm -hmm. and another half of our service doing with field services, uh, additional evaluations, or things that are above and beyond just the certification. So we do deal with every player in the value chain, whether that's the end consumer, whether that's the project developer, whether that's the EPC, um, mm -hmm. people that are making components for finished products. Uh, every player in that value chain is someone that TUV Rhineland can add value or can provide a service to some degree. All right, but where do you see the future direction of solar industry? Do you, um, do you think it's mostly going to be large-scale utility, or do you see uh, there's a possibility of incorporating distributed uh, powers? And, and that's a big question that we all have, I think. That, that is a, a very loaded question. Um, I, I love distributed generation. I love the, the economies of scale of large, large utility-scale installations. Uh, I, I love the companies that have solutions for very niche markets of everything in between. Uh, personally, I have solar on my roof in California. Mm, um, I think it's a great solution. haven't had an energy bill at my house mm -hmm. uh, for over 20 years before I was even living there. There still oh. hasn't been an energy bill at that house. So mm -hmm. I, I strongly believe in distributed generation. I believe that is something that at, in California is uh, grid parity right now. So it's a great solution to uh, make money, to save costs. Or blackouts. Uh, or, or, or blackouts, mm -hmm. uh, increase the, gr the grid. Mm -hmm. And uh, I also see where a lot of people can make money and provide good to the world with the commercial scale and utility scale installations. So and I, I think, think everything is viable mm -hmm. um, depending on specific markets and the environmental conditions is really what determines what is more appropriate for that location. Ah, yes. As a matter of fact, I think yesterday President Clinton mentioned according to one of the recent studies, um, actually there was a, a net increase of a tremendous amount of uh, jobs with the result of the solar 
corporation? Well, I, I've been in the solar industry since I was in high school. Um, oh, and I started okay. flying out to California to Perfectly work attest, for, yes. for a green tech company. And mm -hmm. then after college, I started right away in the solar industry. And I've been here uh, my entire professional career. So definitely thank you, solar industry, for mm -hmm. jobs. And um, I, unfortunately, I didn't get to see uh, President Clinton speak because I don't have a full conference badge. And oh, I had to work okay. the booth to talk to all the wonderful oh, people at the show. Mm -hmm. But um, I, I'm sure it was a great speech. He, he's sure, such a great speaker. Um, the convention will probably supply that. And it'll probably be on YouTube later on, too. Hopefully, you can, you can <laughs> okay. put that on YouTube for us to enjoy. Right. Well, well, thank you very much. Really appreciate it. And for those folks out there, uh, keep in mind, TUV Rhineland is a very integral part of many of our lives. Signing off, Susan Sun, Nanamaker, with sunisthefuture.net here in Orange County Convention Center at SPI, the Solar Power International of 2012.